because one thing that Jews uh, they hang him on the cross. Yes. He not uh, went to cross with his own design, not the discipline and disciplines. Jews took him on the cross. Now why Jews want to uh, kill him on the cross? Because in first hand they believe, they do not believe on his miracle birth. And they want, according to Bible, the person who dies on the cross, he is, uh, he is not a good man, he is a cross people. So he wants to prove that he is crushed from his birth and from his death. But giving the life or giving the death, it is in the hand of God, not in the hand of man. Uh, ultimate uh, try which man can do, he can shoot, he can hang him on the cross. But the sake of the life, it is a work of God. So God says him, he was not cursed in the eyes of God. He was very pure man in the eyes of God. goes back, in order to understand what happened with Jesus, we should try to summarize it. So God created a man and woman. Uh, God is God of goodness, absolute goodness, and love, and the beauty, and all these good, the good things that God created. So uh, we look at human beings. And uh, Adam and Eve must have had a potential to become good. They had that potential, you might say. And so that uh, is our understanding that you know God told them to be fruitful. And then Jesus, too, four thousand years later, according to the Bible, biblical years, Jesus said, "I want you to be fruitful, bear fruit." So, in other words, Adam and Eve were not fruitful at that time. That shows self-centeredness. It shows evil. So uh, the, the foundation of, of what a, a good world would be is that human, both Adam and Eve would have united with, with the Creator and become like the Creator. You know, they would be the, the visible representation of the, the invisible God. So they would bring goodness into the world of their own free will. And they would choose goodness, but they did. They did not. Okay, now that's what messed up the world in the first place. So the work of Jesus was not completed at the time. Uh, obviously, a second coming was needed because something's missing, right? Yeah, there is something missing. Yeah, there's still evil in the world, so the Messiah must come to return. Uh, but Jesus actually, with our interpretation, our understanding of Father Moon. Father Moon received a vision from Jesus directly when he was 15. And Jesus began to explain these things directly. And, uh, so, the, the spirit world is a very important part of, of uh, our teaching, I'd say. That's, that's the basic difference. Just hold it very interesting. I'll be there. I will there. read it. Yes. want to be yes. Regarding to Islam, that uh, just, as just man is created in the shape of a God or similarity to God, it means it is right. We in Islam we also believe that God created the man in his shape, not mean that physical shape. God do not have physical shape. It means only that the attributes of God. God gave the attributes to man. But some men, unfortunately, they do not use their faculty in the right way. They misuse their faculty. How do you go back to this question? How do you go back to this question? Because I think I'm running out of time. Okay. One second. How do you go back to your question?
question. Yeah. You said uh, this is due to the registration, right? Yeah. When you first came, and then it's to be completed later on, is it? And did, are you saying that Father Moon completed the mission? Is that what you mean? He, uh, Father Moon, he, he came as not only himself, but a couple of so to restore what happened to Adam and Eve. Right? accepted by the people in other tribes of Israel and, and he uh, completed his work according to our belief. Okay. And the second coming he gave the promises only as a spiritual, as he himself said in the no, no. No, no, no. Bees are looking for bees. No, they use this. It's very nice. This one, oh, very easy to carry. Right, right. That's very true. Nice. Oh, for me? That's nice. Oh, wow. Thank you very much. I really appreciate your input and enlightenment. You know, it's really, really good. Yeah, well, really appreciate that. I, I appreciate your, your, uh, your, your, uh, your faith and your, your understanding. Right. You know, these things you just have to uh, be open to what God wants to teach us. Sure. And, uh, yeah. Maybe I can learn something. Sure, we all learn from one another's experience and scripture and belief system. Yeah. And somewhere we have to tie the twine together, you know, right. coming together. Right. Unity in faith. And I believe uh, Father Moon's church and the uh, Bay Area Family Church provides this forum like us. You know, not everybody does it, but hey, you guys have a very open forum. And as I said, I've been there many times to speak. I've enjoyed it. Yeah. yeah. You were working with uh, Mark Denny, I think, in the Yeah, past. yeah, yeah. And uh, David Rosenblum? Right, David Rosenblum. <laughs> Two, three of us, we founded Interfaith America. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah I heard yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Messiah, you're talking about. No, he's the uh, elder. No, he's the author? No, I think. Caliph. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. 